Hi everyone, let's try and break a speed record with a toy train. And more spacers! And spacers! And spacer. We already have a train and we need some railroads, but before that, let's talk about today's video sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is overcome with Viking Fury. Experience the true power of Sweden. Research and upgrade war machines from those built in the 40s to the more modern ones. Lots of unusual tanks created by Nordic Genius are at your disposal. The new War Thunder update brings unique in-game mechanics, one of the most detailed maps ever, and refined explosion effects. Drive along the streets of Stockholm-inspired Sweden location or visit another place around the globe. War Thunder battles happen all over the world. Upgrade your tech with new modules. Use modern technologies like homing missiles, reactive armor, and thermal sights. Only in War Thunder can you meet planes, tanks, and helicopters fighting in a single battle. While at sea, torpedo boats fight for victory alongside huge cruisers. Click the link in the description to download War Thunder for free and receive bonuses for easy wins. And now let's build a railroad!
Now that we have a banked track that took forever to build, let's try and do some speed runs. <laughs> it goes, it goes, it goes fast. Uh, let's put a speed trap and see how fast is fast. <laughs> the train tends to derail on the straights Because, because this is the setup that I used to guess how much banking I could put on the railroad. And as you can see, it's uh, a bit more than 45 degrees, which is the amount of incline that is on the railroad. But it seems that any little kind of like pump on the rails can tip over the train. So I will make a, a few modifications and I will repair a few things that broke and see if we can go faster. And I will also remove these, these parts in the front and in the back because as you can see in this clip, those almost, or I'm pretty sure that those are hitting some of the brackets and we need, we need, we need more speed. Speed! As you can see, I shortened the chassis and I added some washers to the, to the bottom of this part in here. So it is more bottom heavy and that will hopefully help to lower the center of gravity and will increase the chances of it breaking if it crashes. So let's do, let's do another run and see how fast it goes. I still don't know how fast it went the one before, but let's, let's, let's see. That was full throttle and I broke another wheel 
<laughs> but we need to go back to the computer to see, see how fast was that. It's, it's fun, fun, really fun, really, really fun. 22.5 kilometers an hour wasn't what I had in mind when I started doing this. But then seeing it in the shop going, going, doing laps is, is, is quite scary. But please leave in the comments if you think I should push further and try to make it faster. Please leave in the comments if you have any ideas about how to make it faster. That will help. And also, should I make a, a looping or something like that? Because I already have the, the track in the shop late and it took a while. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to World Thunder for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link on the description and check it out. Thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters for helping me keep this madness going. And now please go and make something!